Hey guys, it's Shannon and Paul and welcome to the Collector Corner. That's right. Where today we are opening up a Beetlejuice blind box pins. Very cool. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> so I like the packaging on these pins and are these, yeah, these are lounge fly pins. Yes. And here are the pins in the series, which is pretty cool because there are only six pins. So maybe we could get the whole set. Maybe. I'm ever hopeful. Yes. <laughs> we have this one right here, which is a chase pin, and it's a glow in the dark. So that's interesting. I think this is the first time we've ever seen Loungefly say that something is a chase. Yeah. So, so good luck getting that. Yeah. Or we'll get 10 of those and nothing. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move this to the side. Paul's going to put our pin board yep. up there, and then he's going to go ahead and go first. All right. So um, I want to get, I want to get Lydia. That's who I'm hoping for. You're going to have to help me and tell me who. That's fine. I have. I know Beetlejuice. Hey, I got Lydia. Oh, wow. Right off the bat. Okay, that's cool looking. So there she is. She's all decked out in her all black. Like she was doing goth, like goth couture before it was cool. <laughs> so that's a cool looking pin. This is actually pretty small. It's a little bit bigger than a quarter would be from feet to the top of her hair. Um, her body is about the size of a quarter. Here's a pen cap. Yeah, there you for go. For comparison's sake. Yeah. But she's cool looking. I like her white pasty skin, the big blue eyes. I like how they did her eyes just super big. Yeah. That's fun. All right, she so I got... looks like chibi style. Kind of. So I got Lydia. The back of them has the Funko crown symbol, which Funko and Lounge Fly are the same company, and then Beetlejuice. Cool. Yep. All right, that was a good start. Yeah. No duplicates right. yet. You always let me go first. I'm, I'm always guaranteed to have no duplicates. That's right. All right, next one. Let's see. It's stuck in there. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No, I think it's somebody different. It is. It is. You got Adam. Cool. So they they remind me of somebody. They remind me of something like a Sesame Street character or something. There's some big bird with a big beak, and that's what they remind me of. Big bird? No, not big bird. <laughs> okay. A different kind of bird. Okay. Anyway, okay, so I don't know anything about the character. If oh, okay. you wanted to talk about the character, feel free to talk yeah, about the character. Yeah, so, so Adam, played by Alec Baldwin, um, and Barbara, played by Gina Davis, they... They end up dying, so they're haunting they're haunting their own house. And Lydia's family moves in. And of course they want to change everything. So Adam and Barb don't like that. So they they try to get they try to scare the people to move out. But Got they're it. not good at it. <laughs> okay. L Lydia can see them. So okay. that, that's unusual. But they're just not good at, at at being scary or spooky. So they try doing doing this. Uh Adam opens his mouth up and shoves his hand up so there's his hand like poking through and it makes his nose really long and got everything. it yeah it's, it's just silly it's kind of crazy it doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> careful the back's off but that's why they get beetlejuice to come and clear the humans out of their house which allows for hilarity and hijinks ah which it's is all about the hilarity and hijinks yeah which is what happens when you get michael keaton involved hilarity and hijinks but he's batman yeah well, he's also Beetlejuice. Hey, there's the Chase figure. Nice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So this is awesome. This is a carousel one, which is really cool. He's got, like, th so this is just so classic Tim Burton. Tim Burton loves these, like, white and black or striped things. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Striped and Harlequin pattern. And yeah. And so he's got his arms all, like, curled up like the Wicked Witch of the West's feet were <laughs> in Wizard of Oz. And then, like, kind of unfurls them. He's got the carousel hat thing going on. It's just super cool. So this is it says this is glow in the dark. I'm assuming all the white stripes. Yeah, that's on his outfit, what I'm assuming. Glow in the dark. That's a cool pin. That though. is a very cool pin. And I like the horses on the carousel are like little goblins and stuff. <laughs> okay, fun. I'm really happy we got that, given that that was the chase. Yeah, said to be the chase figure. Okay, we have a different pin. Can you believe it? Four in a row. Woohoo! Okay, that is, I believe, Miss Argentina. 
So she is in the waiting room of the dead. <laughs> the waiting room of the dead? Yeah, so... It's pretty fun. Yeah, so... So, um... So when Barb and Adam die, they... Like, they... They have a bunch of questions about it. Even in death, you can't get away from waiting rooms and lines. Yeah, so, so it's basically, it's like the DMV. It's like take a number and like it's just this huge long wait. Cause oh gosh. you got eternity. That's so funny. So why not make people wait a long time? Yeah, that's Miss Argentina. <laughs> She's there. I forget. Like, She's awesome. Everybody in the waiting room, it like was very, very easy to figure out how they died. I forget what her thing was. I like. The, I kind of feel like we need to go watch the movie. Yeah, there was a guy that swallowed a chicken bone. He was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, next up. Okay, I have the first duplicate of the video. There is Lydia. Okay, go again. Okay. That was pretty good. Four with no duplicates. Four out of six? Yeah, I'll take that. That's two-thirds for the math people out there. <laughs> next up, we have... Oh, oh no. no, another Adam. Okay, try right. again. Okay, then we're just doing one and one after okay. that. All right, come on, Beetlejuice is like the cab driver. Yeah. Or Barb, either one. Oh no, another Lydia. Okay, okay you it. tried. Okay, come on, one of the ones we need. See? Oh, I think that's new. Hey, it's Beetlejuice. Oh, cool. It's the guide. Yep, Beetlejuice is the guide. Okay, so. I'm going to just go ahead and take the back off. He's really, really cool. I like this pin a lot. It looks neat. I feel like I'd see him as a doorman in New York. Kind of, yeah. I mean, that's that or like a cab driver or something. is almost like the character that he does at that point. That's sort of neat. Like, every time he appears in the movie, he has like this different persona, almost. That's cool. Yeah. It is okay. cool. There, there he is. you go. Like he has like little hands up, like, ooh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so we have two chances, and we just need Barb. Okay, we can do it. Come, Come on, on, Barb. <laughs> nope, oh, no. another Lydia. Wow. All right, that's four Lydia's. Okay, last one for the video. This is like a super short video. Is it another Lydia? Oh, wow. Another Lydia. Okay, five So what did we get? Five of those? Five Lydias. Wow. Five Lydias, two Adams, and then one of everybody else. Wow. Yeah. That's Just how crazy. it worked out. All right. So it's that time of the video. We've got to pick a favorite. Okay. Time to pick favorites. Yep. Who's your favorite going to be? I think I'm going with the Beetlejuice pin. Okay. That's an awesome one. I think I'm going to go <laughs> go with Adam. <laughs> I, like, I like his little plaid shirt. That's going to be my favorite. So how about you guys? Which one of these did you like the best? Please leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the share button and make sure to subscribe if you have not already. That's going to make you part of the Collector Corner Club where we can easily say Shannon or Paul three times fast and nothing will happen. Hmm. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.